Hi, Dr. Valen. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back, XCOM, etc. I forgot to build items last time. Um, mostly I'm going to build uh, the lightweight weapon, actually. I'm going to build one of those, actually. And also, I think I'm going to make... Uh, I got this alloy plating, which is really nice. Uh, I want two of them, believe it or not. Those are really nice. And I think the, for this, we have, I think, good stuff. We can bring out a... Where's that armor piece that we could make? Oh, alloy belt. What the fuck? 20 alloys? Never doing that. All right. <laughs> That's a fucking waste. Well, and maybe it'd be good later. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's go do bomb disposal mission. Uh, this is going to be an interesting setup. So I decided not to bring a gunner along because we need to be mobile. Uh, and I think oh, most of the enemies in this are going to be tiny, but if not, it doesn't matter. Uh, we of course bring our sniper along. Uh, sniper doesn't need to move. Uh, sniper can get shots anywhere. It's fine. Uh, we got a rocketeer, uh, who's gonna be our backup, uh, in case something goes very wrong. Uh, we have our infantry, and it just occurred to me I have a ton of laser pistols to still give out. Well, not that many, but still. Um, we got our infantry, naturally. I don't have a scope for him. I don't know what else item to give him, because I'm never going to have him grenade anything. I'd rather him he use his turn for both shots. Um, it, it's it's kind of an odd situation. My ro Rocketeer is mostly for when they group up, uh, and I get a nice rocket in for that. Uh, the scout, uh, this is one's kind of weird, because I basically said, I don't want to have another shotgunner. And, you know, we already have an infantry. We don't want a gunner. I, My engineer just kind of like, I don't know. Engineer's meh for this kind of thing. I need them to be mobile and things like that. So I said to myself, well, I got laser weapons. I'm going to try and make a scout with a laser weapon. Uh, and so this is going to be interesting to see how that works. And I have nat naturally have my assault running. I need an assault for with a running gun to basically potentially trigger something. Uh, well, one of the bombs or something like that. Because it's, it's a bomb mission, so there's that. Because I can't think of someone else I'd bring. Maybe a medic. Maybe a medic. But I don't know. Uh, we have one med kit for everybody here, so we also have the shiv, so um, my plan is mostly to have the shiv take all the damage. Anyways, I'm gonna just try it, you know, a mobile scout with a, with a laser rifle, so let's see how that works. Uh, let's go. I don't know, usually I just give them, uh, the, the shotguns, because I kind of gave them essentially an assault roll, but I don't know. Moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Oh, this is a interesting mission. So we're we're, we're going to be going inside a building. I don't know. I I always have that that cemetery mission in mind. That one's fucking horrible. Every time we do Bob missions. Oh well. So we have two people with the sleeves, which is kind of neat. Actually. Strike one. Council intel indicates the aliens are charging a plasma bomb of some kind in your vicinity. Time is running short. We need to locate and disarm that weapon before they're able to finish priming it. Alright. I don't Our see much over here. indicate that device is some sort of priming mechanism. The aliens are transferring power from it directly to the bomb itself. Disabling this power node should give you more time to find and disarm the explosive. Objectives updated. Well, I'm looking around for more of them. I, I'm gonna assume that there's probably one in here somewhere. Uh, there's like a little place there, but like honestly, this is the first. This is the only one we've seen. This is ridiculous, actually. Um, we're also gonna bring our scout, I think, right over here first. All right, that's good to see. All right, so my, uh, well, let's see. What, what's the sniper doing? I don't know. Shift can go over there too. Alright, so we, we need to disable that thing first, so let's use the our shotgunner to do that. But basically it seems we you've bought yourself some time, but you still need to hurry, or well, you know. Alright, we're gonna bring the shiv over there. <laughs> I like how the shiv just busted open the door. Motherfucker, I'm a shiv, I don't have to explain shit to you. Alright, we're gonna bring our sniper into that position. We're gonna now sprint up our assault here. Weirdly enough, my assault has less uh, 
move mobility than my scout. I, I don't know how that happened. All right, that, we can't have him doing that because we haven't actually looked over here. So we're gonna have to go like right here. Uh, and it looks like uh, our rocketeer has a less, the least amount of movement available, which is uh, not very good. Probably, probably actually, he, she would be someone that's good with the uh, that that mobility rifle. Now that I think about it, uh, I, I I built one to experiment with it. Well, I'm building one to experiment with it. I have a bunch of laser rifles, I figure too. All right, they're definitely coming into that room there. By the way, I fucking guarantee you this. Well, let's just open it up and see him. Oh, nothing there. And that's a regular move there. There's one out there. We can we can we can technically go get that, uh, but I'd rather wait until a prudent time. So we're gonna just move this guy over here. All right, that's that's good. All right, we'll, we'll just go get this guy. Is there any more guys out here? No. Good work. That'll buy us a little more time, but you still need to find that bomb. I'm I'm planning on basically moving this guy right that's here. Affirmative. Uh, I don't know where the shift should go. Just over here. All right, our assault. Go as far as he can up there. Uh, he, I'll, I'll make him probably get the thing next uh, next turn. And I guess sniper doesn't have much to do. I, I'll bring a bring her over here actually, because maybe I can open that door and get an angle on someone next turn, potentially. Already there. But, you know, for bomb missions, we just have to run and get these little terminal things, because we only have a limited amount of turns. So it's basically like three turns unless you're, uh, I don't know, being weird. All right. I, here's what I'm thinking. I think we go and we get our, uh, actually, there's a giant dumpster there. I'm going to use my assault here to basically, well, I'd have to dash out there. Fuck. So that's not happening. All right. Uh, scout will go on the edge here. Oddly enough, we do not see them, uh, which is good news for me, I guess. I guess our sniper can go somewhere else then. Good job, Strike One. That should buy us a few minutes. This is working fairly well, actually. Already there. All right. We're gonna move our rocketeer up here. I think the last one is just the shiv. Shiv can just kind of hang out here. Oh, no, no, it's not a shiv. It's a person. It's another kind of shiv. It's okay. Well, he can, he can stay out there. Actually, wait, wait, we didn't get that guy. Oh, we can get next turn with the shiv. Oh. All right, steady up in there. Now, this is really bad because we haven't triggered anybody. Uh, okay, here we go. They're right there. And they went inside the building, of all fucking places. Alright, let's go. The Shiv can disarm bombs, it's fucking adorable. Oh, uh, here we go. I don't know how you saw them, but okay. Good, good boy. Okay, disarm it. Thank you, Shiv. Alright. Excellent. That's another one down. Now... The really bad part is we we don't know we can't get a shot off them on them. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go trigger this guy here. Looks like you found the bomb. Get over there and deactivate it. That's zero energy on that power node. Strike one. We can see them over there. Power node deactivated. Objective updated. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Well, there's all their groups. What happened to close combat specialist? Asshole. I'll go get that guy. Actually, I should have crit with him. Oh, that's okay. It worked out. All right, we need to kill that guy next. Uh, what do you have? You're my my runner. Wonderful. All right. I'm hoping that my infantry can kind of get a shot off somewhere. Actually, this is a good place for a run rocketeer. It's right up here. You can't hit anybody? Fuck's sake. Good to go. 
Well, I'll hit that guy then. Dead and gone. <laughs> I'm gonna just overwatch with the ship and overwatch with this guy. Now they're together, which I don't really like. Uh, but they're behind full cover. Actually, he ran the fuck away. Never mind. Oh, uh, and then back there. And up again. Alright. Fucking gymnastics on these people. Alright. Now, we can go up here with my, uh, with my guy here, because he will trigger their overwatches and things like that. Oh, what? Who can you see? That's another power node down. Well, we, we saw basically inside the wall for a second, which we're, I doubt we're supposed to be able to do. Uh, alright. This person will go here. We have five turns, by the way. Which is good. Good news. Alright. Well, let's go. Set your aim. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Now, nah, I'm pretty sure on the roof they cannot see down there, so that's good news for us. That's bad news. I, I'm thinking of, you know what, I think I'm just gonna blow a hole open in the fucking building. So we can get in there. I just assume they're all right behind him. Alright, let's, let's, uh, fucking rearrange some architecture. And guess what? Guess who was right? And we activated more of them. <laughs> well, you know, that's one way of uh, creating openings, I suppose. All right, we got that guy. Uh, I am thinking I should just do a guaranteed crit on him. Almost. Uh, no, let's save that one, actually. I mean, we got a high chance to hit, so let's just do this. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't need to crit him. All right. The shiv will come in handy very soon, but we're gonna take some shots on some people. And you're gonna overwatch for your next turn. Uh, some very bad chances to hit, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. I think the shiv will take the next shot against him. Now, I don't actually know what's in here, so I, I would prefer not running and gunning inside the building, but it would be a good idea, to be honest. Alright. I think the plan is here to make the Shiva sacrificial lamb. As, as, as much as it is to people's dismay. Well, I can only hit him, so... You missed! God damn it. Well, let's, let's go see what's up here. Oh, we don't actually see anything, like, seriously threatening, so I'm up for actually just going over here, actually. This is a good idea. Although, it's not a guaranteed kill, man, I think about it. Oh, it is. Wow. Uh, it's because I crit. There's a 30% chance I wouldn't have got him, and then I would have been flanked. Well, there's the Shiv doing his job. We love you, Shiv. Alright, we got Hollow Target on him. There's a lot of fucking, like, smoke in this entire fucking place. Oh, come the fuck on. That's the only shot you have, alright. At least you got him. Who's the one who can see the one up top? Just you? Really? Who's the one? Oh, he's the one taking the shots at the other guy. Alright. Well, Shiv's gonna go over here then. Uh, the Shiv doesn't care about acid, FYI. Alright. I think we're good. I would like to spend a turn just, like, reloading, maybe. We're gonna check the roof with our, uh, 
our assault guy here. Just to make sure. Because I, I don't actually know if we got them all. I guess we did. So now we have to kind of prepare for uh, guys to drop in. Yes, Commander. Ready to run. I think they drop in. Uh, we have actually a, a medical kit here. And also, yes, just here. Probably should bring bring the rocketeer back to use utilize that. Alright. There we got it, we're right beside it. Excellent work, Strike One. Wipe out any remaining aliens and come on home. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. New objective received. I I want to heal this person. We didn't have enough time really to to get anything else. So. Uh, is there anyone else that can potentially go up to the roof? I don't think so. Where's my shotgunner? Shotgunner can definitely go up to the roof. I, I just, I, I feel safer having two people up there to potentially take people out on the other side. Also, my, my gunner, can, my, my infantry can go up there, although I pr would prefer her to be overwatching with her opportunist. Alright, let's have a look at where they drop. I think my sniper has that. Or no, he doesn't. Well, that's... <laughs> oh, there goes one. Kill that one's uh, interesting. How many are there? God damn it. Alright. I'm worried about moving there. Okay, it wasn't didn't really need to do yeah, this, so I'm gonna just dash over there just to trigger the Overwatch with my uh, my scout. I'm concerned about the the guy in the back there. Moving. I don't like that angle, but we'll we'll do it. Really? Okay, well. Intentan retirarse. Holy shit. Speak English. Nah, it's okay. Alright, we got a machine pistol for that one. You missed! Fuck! I really don't need this right now. How about the shiv? Can the shiv do a shot over here, potentially. Yes, you can. Thank God, someone got him. Uh, let's see. Our best option here is to actually move back with this uh, infantry. Uh, don't have exactly what I would call the best cover for this. Though, but... It's what we got, I guess. Alright, and since our shotgunner is now completely out of position, is our opportunity to also head back somewhere nice. I just assumed they'd be on the roof and stuff, but they're kind of like spread out in the back there as well, so there's just too many. Alright, there's one, there's two. Alright. Uh, let's have a look here. We could just like throw a rock in there, but I think I think I think what my preference will be is to move people back over here. Uh, we're just gonna fall back to this position, basically. Uh, this is my rocket here. Need a place for my sniper, though. This place seems actually quite nice. Uh, or maybe not. Yeah, I don't have many options here. 
there's still one unknown over there, inside there, so... Uh, this place is actually decent cover against both angles, potentially, so... My main concern is actually that he's on the roof, so we have to be ready to... Potentially just kind of deal with him. So the assault's gonna be up there, kind of just waiting around the corner. Uh, sniper's gonna steady aim. Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch. Covering fire. Ah, uh, didn't kill him though. Ah, uh, he's attacking the Shiv. Shiv might die. No, nope, the Shiv's a fucking trooper. Probably has just one HP right now. Honestly, the, the Shivs to rebuild cost like 20 bucks. So, to me, it's fucking, like, not even a question. Alright, Sniper has a shot. Sniper shall take shot. I like how this is, like, glowing red. There we go. Uh, let's go bring this person over here, actually. And I'm gonna bring the Shiv actually up here, because I don't know what's over there. Okay. From where I can see nothing. I'm just trying to cover all my angles here as we move up here. And there we go. This guy's probably really dead. No! Everyone's missing. Three misses. Oh, close combat specials though. The guy had like lightning reflexes or some shit. That was a good position for this assault though. I'll say that much. All right. Now, there was one that entered around here. That's our last kind of problematic one. We're green to go. Scanning. I don't know why he didn't get a shot off. I don't think he did. Oh, maybe he did. All right. One more turn in Overwatch. Well, we can actually hear where he's coming from, naturally. Oh, he's still up there. Right. Oh, there he is. Or not. Oh, there he is. All right. Ah, oh, go do your uh, your super shot. Actually, uh, let the scout take a shot first. Scout has a uh, um, hollow targeting. So this will increase your chances of hitting him oh, dramatically. Shit. Done, strike one. I'm reading zeros on the bomb's energy signature. Well, you know, that went actually pretty well. The shift took most of the damage. Uh, Rocketeer got hit like one time, and that was it. Uh, so that went pretty smooth, all things considered. That I don't have, uh, I mean, I went for beam weapons first, so we don't have any armor or anything. All right, let me return to duty. We got, only got two promotions out of that, seriously? Fuck. I thought we would have gotten more than that. We had like our best and brightest. All right, here we go. This is the one we've been waiting for. So we have uh, basically two shots, and mostly we've been building her as Overwatch. Or, sorry, him. It's not a her. It's, it's a black guy. Um, <laughs> and then we have Ranger. That does one more primary damage uh, to, to this. So now we have Tech Sergeant. So we either have an option between Sharpshooter, where plus 10 critical chance in all situations, plus 10 aim against enemies in full cover. Uh, that's okay. Lock and load. Primary weapons receive one additional shot or uh, a shot or burst. Before reload is required, and you may reload your primary weapon as the first action of your turn without ending the turn. This is amazing. Um, so, you know that thing I've been having? I gave him like an extra clip, basically, uh, this entire time. This basically does that, so he gets an extra clip on top of that. So instead of like, it starts with three shots, the, 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 the rifles usually. Then it gets four, and then it goes up to five with this. And not only that, he can reload his action before his, uh, uh, at the start of his turn, and then overwatch. That's what he can. This guy can do, uh, or we can have will to survive confers one or two uh, points of damage reduction if he's not, whatever. Fuck it. No, it's lock and load every time. He's a demo man. All right, we got suppression on that on this character here on railgun there. Uh, we can either get opportunist, which uh, elim eliminates aim penalty and uh, reaction shots. It looks like a lot of these um, are just like. Overwatch related perks like a lot of these, but I'm building my Rocketeer to do damage. Whoops. Uh, actually, I'll show you this one too. Plus five defense per enemy in sight or Shredder, which is a, a, essentially an extra free rocket. So that's really nice. 
Uh, and then we got a bunch of stuff. And we got panic reduction. We will be in touch, Commander. All right, what do we have to build? Nothing, I think. So we're waiting for that thermal vent to finish. Uh, what what are my excavations looking like? Yeah, this doesn't look so bad. Yeah, this is this is what I wanted. I'm gonna build a couple workshops there before I build down. All right, uh, there we have our scout uh, research project. So we can now do a lot better against scout UFOs. And weirdly enough, we do not have any enough uh, alloys to do anything else here. Which is why we're not selling any more alloys, I think, ever. Uh, we have some Illyrium stuff, but I think we're going to just do Xenobiology, because that's the best thing for us to do, actually, because we can start, like, capturing other things. Commander, our intelligence sources indicate that a previously unknown organization is attempting to undermine XCOM field operations. We believe this group harbors some misguided sympathies for the invaders and is intent on acquiring alien technology and artifacts critical to your efforts. Early reports indicate this organization calls itself Exalt. We trust you will isolate the source of this new threat and eliminate it. Commander, the Council has provided some additional resources to help us deal with these traitors. We can begin scanning for additional Exalt cell locations and launch covert operations to disrupt their activity via the Situation Room. Now, Exalt missions are interesting, so they drain some money from us. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to send someone in there to basically find out where their um, their cell is. And so uh, we can basically go and do a covert operation. Now, we have to choose a covert uh, op operative, so it's someone uh, someone basically will not be available for a little bit while, they're, while we're gone. But they only get pistols. Um, so, you know, we have to pick someone who's good at pistols and potentially has some other perks that would help out. And so, uh, that covert operatives have a powerful emission ability, Exalt Com hack. If you find an uh, Exalt Com array, your operative can hack it to saving all uh, Exalt Force for a limited time. So, obviously, um, the gunners, rocketeers, uh, mech troopers, and I don't know what PFCs are. Oh, that's like the people who are like really new, the red shirts. They're, they can't do it. So, it has to be someone that's slightly experienced. So, who do we bring for this Valiant mission? Uh, snipers, obviously. No, because they depend very much on their sniper rifles, so that's a really bad choice. Uh, medics are maybe because you can—it's like Never having a longer free medic we'll on a mission, but, but I, don't think it's to the UFO I don't know. It's not very good combat-wise, uh, but it's a free medic, so there's that. Uh, we have gunners, counters can't go, rocketeers can't go, engineers. Engineers, I would say, is the second best option. I tried bringing along an engineer, but I, she didn't get much use out of it last time. Because, I mean, you can have double grenades and a pistol for that. Because you can't bring armor along. There's a lot of things you can't bring along for this, so... Who's that? Um, and then there's, I guess, scouts. Scouts are, once again, okay at it, but... Uh, I don't know. Nothing to report at the moment. Boards are clear. You can trade... As I said, free overwatch trigger. That's what you can do with that. A, a scout would actually be a good choice as well, to be honest. Uh, but the person I'm actually going to bring along is going to be Desperado Haladin. Which I can't bring along because he's fatigued, so that fucking sucks. Wow. This is awful. Okay. I thought I could bring along a fatigued person. I want to bring an assault along because the assaults have, um, uh, whatever the gun ability is. The, uh, they remove the aim penalty on a gun. Which would have been really nice been to have. Up some odd transmissions lately. Some nut calling himself Commander Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives. Some kind of like reference to some old TV show. Um, okay, so it's really a choice between the medic and the uh, um, and not a medic, basically, because I I thought I could bring fatigued people along, but no, I can't. Um, and we have a lot of wounded people here, so I don't know. I guess, uh, engineer medic. Which one is it gonna be? We're gonna bring along the engineer, as much as it pains me. Oops. Yeah, yeah, engineer. Uh, well, let me just make sure it's actual engineer. Yeah, here we go. So, uh, laser pistol goes along with her. And I don't know about AP grenades. I think it's, I think based on the mission she goes on, she's just gonna be destroying cover. Uh, from as far as she can do it at, and that's it. And I, uh, once again, I canceled it without actually sending her on the mission. So that laser pistol is now unavailable to me for the duration that she's gone, but she has uh, grenades, so that's good. 
Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in the United Kingdom. Yeah. It's negative. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. That's really unfortunate. I was hoping to to not have to. I thought I was hoping to bring someone along that was more useful than that, but whatever. Let's scan for activity. All right, we got uh, our thermal generator online. Are you guys ready for some fucking uh, some major ass construction projects? I certainly am. All right, uh, we're gonna build the foundry. Yes. Now the workshop. Now a laboratory. Oh, I can't build a laboratory. I can build another workshop though. Nope, can't do that either. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we only have we're only like one engineer short. I honestly think I should tunnel down maybe here and then build the next workshop there. So we're gonna do that. Uh, what do we ha what do we do with the rest of our money here? I don't know. Uh, we can build a the the officer training school. How far are we till the end of the month? Is the question. Uh, fairly far, I think. Yeah, the thing the thing about the officer training school is. I'm one scientist and one engineer away from making another laboratory or another workshop, so we're gonna wait on that. Auto loader complete. Weapon gyro is complete. The stuff for the shiv that the shiv is now kind of could have used on that last mission. A large UFO on the nap of Earth. Um, we're gonna ignore the contact because when it's on the nap of Earth, it's uh, gonna land. Now, the answer to if we will do it is. No, because we're most of our people are out of commission, so they they win that one. We don't even have a shift to bring along. Four meld for two engineers. Dispatch, yes. Um, and with that, two the engineers. engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. This is unfortunate. I I I probably should build this way earlier to do this. But whatever, it's okay. I'll wait for it. And adaptive tracking technology. That sounds good. Uh, four meld for $45? No. I don't need money. Engineers, yes. Uh, here we go. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro- Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. No, absolutely not. We must kill them all. Okay, fine. All right, new research. We can now uh, research some more stuff and we have to capture aliens and shit, which is kind of neat. Um, we got a targeting module now. Uh, an assistant putting fire on the alien's vital organs. Weird. Okay, we can also build an alien containment facility. All right, we got a couple more options here. We could do some, uh, some autopsies. Uh, or we could do Xeno, whatever the fuck this is. Or we could do this one. A lot of these are slow. I would have liked to get body armor though, but I don't know. I'm trying to think. What is this one going to do? Oh, this is for the meld. To utilize meld. All right, that's a good question if I should do that. I'm, I'm thinking about just doing these easy ones first, but I don't think the sectoid autopsy and whatever. Well, let me see what go those do. Give me a minute. All right, so it's... It's realistically, it's a choice between, um, this one doesn't really give any, the sectoid autopsy isn't going to give us anything. Thin man autopsy gives us potentially some products to improve our med kits and potentially some new, a new type of grenade, but it's nine days. Um, or we could do this thing to start capturing aliens alive, which isn't a terrible idea in itself. 
I'm kind of up for that, to be honest. Um, then there's the meld stuff. But the thing is, we would have to be able to, we would have to basically um, look into, uh, what is it called? Uh, we'd have to build that, that capturing facility. I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to do that, so maybe we'll do the meld research. So let's do, let's do the meld stuff now. And keep spinning globe. Oh, we got our heater, heater almost done. Alloy plating. What the hell? Co covert operation ready? Are you for fucking real? Oh, they want laser weapons. How about no? That's such a troll. Alright, covert operative is ready for extraction. So we have to do this or else we lose them. So, we only are limited to four operatives because we're flying Excellent. low. We look forward to seeing your progress. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fucking tough one, I'm going to tell you that right now. But we have to bring along our best and brightest along. Uh, but luckily most of our people appear to be out of... Uh, um, we got 14 hours on that person. Actually, let's try and wait that 14 hours first before we continue. Because I really should get that person. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, now that we have our... We the most I can bring along for our best team... I think we'll be okay. This is, this is like the best we can do, unfortunately. But uh, we, should be, we should be okay. So, uh, with that being said, we will do this mission next time. And it's not going to be easy, let me tell you that. So remember, we will be watching.